Hey guys, my name's Jamin. Thank you so much for visiting my channel, PC Monkey, where I try to bring you a wide variety of computer upgrade and repair tutorials. In this video, I'm working with an ASUS ROG gaming laptop GL series, and I'm gonna show you how you can safely replace a key on the keyboard. I'll show you how to do two keys, the first one being a letter key, which is usually very similar in size to the function keys, arrow keys, number keys. And then I'll show you a larger key, which is similar in size to your space, enter, shift keys. Just as a clarification, this video can help if your key is physically damaged somehow. Uh, it's either physically come loose, the parts are no longer installed correctly, or it's damaged or broken and needs to be replaced. If your key is mechanically fine, it's going down and coming up completely like it's supposed to, but it's still not working, you wouldn't wanna mechanically mess with it, you would wanna troubleshoot it a different way. I'll have a link up top, a link below in the description, how you can troubleshoot a key or keys not working on your keyboard, but there's nothing physically wrong with them. So I have a small flathead screwdriver here. Uh, smaller the better, a normal house one, you'll, you'll probably break it. And what I'm going to do with this is get it underneath your keycap, this top part, but I'm going to try to get it on top of the retainer clip underneath that you can't see. Uh, so you'll have to go slow and, and feel your way out, and after I get this off, I'll show you what it looks like under there. So nice and slow, under the keycap, peel it off. Okay, so there's your keycap. And as you can see, my screwdriver is holding down the white clip here. Zoom in on that a little bit so you can see that a little better. So most retainer clips on computers will look somewhat like this. There'll be usually two metal pins toward the top corners and either two toward the bottom or one right in the middle, as in this case. So that's how it's held in. It's, it's, it's very tight in there. There's not a lot of wiggle room. What I'm going to try to do to get this up, I'm going to push up as much as I can. Let me screw this around so you can see it. I'm going to push this up as much as I can. I'm going to try to gently peel or gently uh, get these out from under those metal clips. So it's going to be kind of touchy, but um, I'll show you how, how I do it. So hang on one sec, and I'll show you what, what it looks like. That one's out. That one's out, okay. Then I wiggle it out from the bottom of this one, okay. So this is what that clip looks like. This is what I was trying not to break. Let me flip it over so you can see it. You're trying to not break this little tiny plastic part that jets out and this little tiny part. Those are really thin, really small, very easily broken. That's what's held into the metal clip. So that's definitely what you'll break if you do break it in, in, the, in this process. So that's where you wanna be uh, very, very careful of what you're doing. So to put this back in now, I would go in reverse. Instead of taking the top off first, I'm putting the bottom in first. So lay it back down in there and try to get that bottom part in under the clip that it should be in. This may take a little while because it's, it's, it's kind of tight. Line it up. Okay, so when it's lined up, you should be able to just push it in the top and snap those back in place. Or this one's not a snap, so I'm gonna have to maneuver this inside and push it down, and then do it the same to the other side, push it down. Okay, so that was a little more difficult than just snapping it in, but you gotta get that side into the hole and that side into the hole, so you gotta go kinda one at a time. Uh, be very careful of this little rubber part there, that's only held on by glue. If you accidentally scrape that up, it's very hard to get those back on, so be careful. And oftentimes when you buy these keys loose, that part's not included, so be careful with that. Then you take your cap and you just snap it back on and you're, and you're good to go. So that's how you would salvage a key safely without breaking any of the components on a letter size key and then install it. So while you guys are busy working on that, I'll give a quick shout out to my affiliate partner, Humble Bundle. At Humble Guys, you can get the latest games at great prices. They also have great ways to save when you're buying. You can bundle your games together in a purchase instead of buying them one at a time. You can also join Humble Choice, which is a monthly subscription service that gets you free games every month. And you can also feel good about your purchases because Humble has donated a ton of money to charity. And every time you pay your Humble Choice membership, every time you use my link, charity gets more. So it's a great website, guys. Great place to get games. Check it out with the link above. I'll also have the link below in my description. 
All right, I'm back. So now let's show you how to do a larger key. Uh, so you can't see it right now, so I'll, I'll do it in the video, and then I'll show you what it looks like on, underneath afterward. So we're gonna get it up under there. Go nice and slow. Okay, so we'll take that part off. So as you can see, my uh, screwdriver was on top of this white clip, but it was obviously un under this. So I'll zoom in, you can see what that looks like a little better. Uh, first of all, your key cap has this little um, metal retainer bar there, or stabilizer bar, and that kind of just snaps in place. It kind of wiggles back and forth, so it's kind of a pain in the butt to get back on, but that, that, that's not usually too much of a problem. And the clip here, they'll usually look like this. You'll see two metal clips toward the top, two metal clips toward the bottom, or in our case, one metal clip in, in the center on the bottom. Uh, the idea is to get this clip off without breaking it. Uh, this is the hardest part of this process. What we're going to do, there are two plastic little protrusions in each corner, and those go into um, a metal hole on each side. So I'm going to try to wedge it out of the metal safely without breaking it, and I'll show you what it looks like when I get it up. So just push in, there we go, and then push in the other side, there you go, should come up semi easily if you uh, do it correctly. So I'll show you what we're looking at here. So this is what I was trying not to break, is this little plastic part and this little plastic part. Those go inside of the metal on top. Very easy to break. Uh, again, if you do break this in this process, it'll probably be there. Uh, but now that we got it out, we're gonna put it back in safely. So we're gonna go in reverse. Instead of taking the top off first, we're gonna put the bottom in first. So line it up, get it kind of centered, kind of all lined up and centered. And then we're gonna to try to slide that top part back in on that side and then that one back in on that side. So off to the side a little bit, get it down in there, and then the other one. So snap, snap. Um, you can break it in this process. It's just easier to break it, taking it off, uh, but be careful when putting it back on as well because if you do break one of those, this will not sit in there securely and then your key's not gonna be secure. It'll, it, it'll flop around and, and fall off. Now, get this metal stabilizer bar as centered as possible. It doesn't snap right into place, so you gotta eyeball it. So get it kind of as centered as you can. And then we're gonna pop it down. And get it inside the, the brackets that it sits in. There and there. Then you just snap the rest back in place. And there you go. All right, so that was the tutorial video. If you have any questions, check out the FAQs below in the description first, guys. It could save you some time getting an answer. I do try to get back to your comments and questions a couple times a day, though, if you do need to leave me one. I hope that helped you guys out. Please like and share if it did. Uh, subscribe if you enjoy computer tutorials like this. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.